well. Uh, my husband read an article about it in the paper, and then we also um, saw something on BBC about a uh, corpse flower in Japan that just opened, and so we thought we would come and see it, and we're both big science enthusiasts, and thought, hey, a really smelly flower, we should go and check that out. Plus, I hear that they don't, they don't bloom very often, so I wanted to get a chance to, to see it. I expect it'll be kind of stinky and really awesome. I had looked at the um, one of the time-lapse videos and it was amazing and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's really big. Uh, most of women have been surprised about how, how big it actually is, how tall it is and how smelly it actually is. It's kind of hard to put an actual like smell, uh, like a word for it, but uh, a lot of people have been saying it's like rotting fish, uh, feces, latrines, uh, seawater, like dirty seawater, um, roadkill, like cutting a deer, cheese, just various different uh, uh, names for the smells, but uh, everyone's kind of different, so it's really neat to see people's reactions and, uh, I don't know, just to experience that it. it's changed over the morning and it's slowly blooming, it's really a neat experience. and. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out online or come visit sometime. Seeing this with Change and Bio is actually really interesting. You know, it makes me wonder about what makes the Morphophallus titanum develop this way. Um, and it's a pretty amazing wonder of the natural world and I think it's, it's contributing to my education just by you know, instilling wonder in, in how um, the development of organisms happen. It's fun to see how people react and the science behind it is very interesting. You know, the chemicals that make the sense, the reactions that happen to make it heat up. Um, the fact that the cellular growth of Amorphous Titanum starts out in just a little shoot, but in that little shoot is every single cell that makes up the entire bloom in that all the plant does is pump water into the cells and then you get this whole thing. It's not like it's dividing as it goes up. It's already done that. It's already ready. Well, it's um, a really um, interesting experience to watch this uh, highly diverse array of people uh, come and see Perry. Uh, it's very interesting in that um, a lot of them are people who don't have a particular interest in plants, yet they become uh, transfixed, just fascinated by this particular plant. I don't think um, I've ever had such a high density of comments that used uh, superlatives in a very sincere fashion. One person uh, wrote about the unopened uh, inflorescence that this is the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen, which uh, I thought was pretty moving, actually. I was moved to tears when I was looking at the flower, which I was felt a little silly about that, but it, it is such a beautiful structure, and the fact that it's real um, just gave me goosebumps, and, and um, just the beauty of the, the flower was amazing. It reminded me of um, the plants that I saw in the movie Avatar, but then I realized that you know, this isn't something that was just created on a computer. This is a real plant from nature, and it's so beautiful.